deeper thinking, powerful thinking. And as you understand yourself better, you naturally will do that. But, but as you're working towards that, you can control yourself. Speak at a speed which is comfortable for you. Don't speak real fast where you kind of run off and you kind of stutter, you know, and you forget what you're going to say. A lot of people do that. They speak nervously or they go so fast they kind of have to say something four times before they ever get their point across because they can't express themselves. Well, slow your mouth down so it's matched up with the speed of your brain. Okay? Number 10. Absolute honesty and integrity with yourself and others is most important. Well, that's a dandy, and that's probably the best one of all of them. If anything, we need a little more integrity in our world. Most people, unfortunately, have rationalized that integrity is not a big deal anymore. Money is the big deal. And we do whatever we need to do or whatever we need to say to get the money. You know, if we're a head of a corporation or a doctor, an attorney or an architect, whatever we are, for most of us, we've learned to, like, kind of skid around the rules and so forth and do whatever we need to do to get a little more money. Well, we know it's not the right thing to do, but it's the kind of society that we live in, at least right now. It may be changing rapidly. So that's 10 pretty good ideas for you there to help you through life. You may have your own way of wording them. Uh, you may even have you know, some of your own, but you might want to make out a list and hang it on the wall of just suggestive ideas based on these comments that kind of help you keep aware of yourself and your growth and how healthy you are in life. Okay, we're just about to wrap up these two tapes on developing and care of the psyche. I have a few ideas of my own I kind of want to give you uh, in summary here for you to think about. Uh, maybe just a few guidelines kind of step by step on you can go through to kind of like changing your life. And you don't need to write these down or anything unless you want to. First of all, I'd like to re I think you should start by developing a clear understanding and awareness of the idea of creation and its logic. On the two creation tapes, we go over that very clearly and explain about the idea of creation. I think it's important that we understand the logic of how our universe is coming forward. Of course, at this point, you and I technically don't have any way to verify that this is really happening, but start to have a little faith that later on that your spirit will develop powerfully enough to actually come in connection with it to reaffirm the idea. Look over and dwell on the idea of the seven steps of development of human life. Think about it until it's clear and meaningful. Read over those steps and think about what they mean. Start enforcing the idea in your mind that we are spiritual beings going through material lives for a purpose and for a reason. That you and your persona right now, your personality, are actually adding information to this spiritual energy form. That you are a part of it. You might even want to consider the fact that once you pass on, that's all the input you as a personality can add to this spirit. What are you leaving for the next personality that your spirit's going to create? What did the last one leave for you? So you might want to look at it like that. Um, learn to practice the meditation exercise. That exercise, breathing through your nose, is wonderful for concentration. You have to learn to be able to concentrate on a single thing if you cannot focus on thoughts and concentrate them on, them on them, you can't build any sort of power in your thinking. You'll just run from thought to thought very fleetingly. Concentration is very important. Learn to develop clear thinking through your keen observation of the world around you. And that will get better as you go along. Learn to really observe things and let them speak to you. See them as they really are and learn from them. Start using the meditation immersion techniques, using the candle, the glass, or whichever you like, and learn to actually immerse yourself down using the colors. Program your subconscious to understand what the colors mean, and put some time into it. Do it regularly, every day perhaps for 10 or 15 minutes, or whatever you like to do. And you will notice immense force of self-will, and it will start to change your life. Learn to be honest with yourself and work on self-improvement. That's a real tough one. We all think we're going to do that, but most of us are so busy just being ourselves that we don't have any time for self-improvement. I'm hopeful that a lot of the things that I've been talking about here can provide you some inspiration and some logic and so forth, building blocks to start on your own self-improvement. We all want a happier, better life. Examine your own human condition, your emotions. Find where your psyche is. Sit down with a piece of paper and write out who you are. Write out all about your feelings and attitudes about life, your approach to life. That's what your psyche is. Learn to use the boomerang. 
send, concentrate very strongly on a certain thought and send it out and wait. Wait for those feelings to come back, that boomerang effect that comes back that gives you a different kind of charge or idea about the thought that you sent out. And then learn to be honest with it. You can start reprogramming yourself then through meditation and daydreaming. When you're honest with discovery about yourself and you find that you have certain problems in certain areas, certain things you want to better about yourself, you can certainly do it. Develop the pause, as I call it, to constantly access your higher self and make it part of your daily life. Through meditation, you'll learn to be able to concentrate and develop that pause, that split second where you've told yourself to allow the uh, wisdom from your spiritual self to come over and give you a hunch, give you a good idea and observe things very clearly before you move on. Constantly see all other life forms as a spiritual part of creation. They are. I mean, we're sharing this planet and this universe with all sorts of living beings. Right now we're mostly concerned on our own planet, but start looking, in, most importantly, at other people as spiritual beings on their own path of evolution. Don't look at it with your material mind, making value judgments about, oh, they're fat or they're ugly or they're black or they're blue, whatever. You know, catch yourself doing this and stop it. Start looking at this individual and just see him as a spiritual being with no value judgments and let him speak out to you. You'll feel his spirit. You'll feel his consciousness. And you'll look at him with a whole different light. Peace on earth will only be gained through this way when we can all visualize each other as spiritual beings and learn to love one another through that. Always find a way to make your world a little better through your own input. Learn to love all things and strive to be happy. Always keep something going to keep you a creative part of yourself moving and an intellectual part of yourself moving. Force yourself, if you have to, to go out and learn to play a guitar, a piano, sing, whatever it takes. Look into some kind of science. Educate yourself. Don't let your brain get stagnant. Develop your own habits and discipline to constantly monitor and see yourself. What I mean is watch out all the time for negative thoughts becoming part of you, where you say, I can't do it, or it's too tough, and so on. You can do anything that you can conceive. Strive to always try out new information. Keep that open mind. Allow the negative thoughts to come in, the positive thoughts, but just see them as they are. Crunch over them, you know, try them out, boomerang them, whatever you need to do. But keep an open mind. It's not only a sign of intelligence, but it's the only way you're ever going to learn anything. Consider the other viewpoint. And lastly, before I leave you on this subject, let me leave you with kind of an unusual one. I want to suggest to you that you begin to start thinking about programming your spirit for your next lifetime. Think about how you may want to live it, what kind of wisdom you really want to pass on to your spirit for the next lifetime. When the next lifetime's personality comes along, it benefits from how you end this one. One thing, you can program your gender if you want to be male or female. Think about that. Think about perhaps how fast you'd like to come back or where. Start taking a hand in controlling your life cycles. Interesting idea. Well, I hope the information on these two tapes is, can be helpful to you in some point in your life. So learn to develop that psyche. Learn to control your thoughts. Let's clean up the subconscious mind of the planet Earth. There's over 5 billion people on Earth. Imagine if all this kind of, kind of information could spread and suddenly... 10,000 people became clear, logical, thinking people with strong will, creating a future based on love and wisdom and peace. And those 10,000 people affected 10,000 more. It became 100,000 and a million and a billion. My, my, within 10 years, perhaps we could get the entire planet thinking clearly and logically. That is the future of the planet Earth. And it's your call to have a hand in shaping that destiny. So first of all, get your own self together, get your own power together, and your subconscious then can start having an effect on the future of the planet Earth.